Hey, in this video, we're going to have a look at differentiating x to the power n, where n is a negative integer. So we've already seen that if f of x equals x to the n, then f dash of x equals n x to the n minus 1. And this was being for positive values of n. So what's the difference when n is negative? Hmm, what's the answer to that? What's different? Nothing. Okay, we do exactly the same process. So you don't have to worry about anything really particularly new in this section. Okay, we're just looking at what happens when it's negative and our same rules apply. Okay, so, if we have a look at the example here. If f of x equals 3x to the negative 2, take x to the negative 3 by f dash of x. Okay, so do exactly what we were doing. So f dash of x equals well, negative 2 comes down times by our 3 gives us negative 6 x to the negative 3 okay because we've got to reduce that power by 1 we've got to subtract 1 from that power so it still comes down okay minus negative sorry then we've got negative 1 times negative 3 is going to give us positive 3 x to the negative 4 so we're still reducing that power down okay still reducing that power okay now we've got a couple of other examples here So we've got find d dx of 1 plus 3x on x squared. Okay, so finding the derivative of this. Hmm, this one looks a little bit trickier, but we can um, manipulate this to start off with by splitting it into two fractions. So we can say that we've got d dx of 1 on x squared plus 3x on x squared. Okay, and we can simplify that a little bit further okay, because 1 on x squared, well that just means x to the negative 2 and we can see that we've got an x on the top and x on the bottom there so this one can cancel out with one of these ones so we're left with 3 on x which can be written as 3x to the negative 1 okay, so we can find our derivative now okay, which is going to equal, well, negative 2 is going to come down Okay, which is our power by 1, it's going to make it negative 3. Okay, and now we've got negative 1 times 3 is going to give us negative 3x to the negative 2. Okay, um, so the difference here, I see uh, when we had just 3x to the power of positive 1, okay, well that x term would have dropped out. Where we've got 3x to the negative 1, we can see that that term doesn't drop out because we're still we're reducing that power by 1. Okay, so it's going to make it negative 2. Okay, we've got one more to look at, which is show, um, sorry, that we show that f dash of x is always negative, but f of x equals x cubed. Hmm, okay, so what we first need to do is go, okay, well, what's our derivative? f dash of x. Okay, so we're going to reduce our, uh, we're going to bring our power down, negative 3 times x to the negative 4. Okay, now we can think about writing this a little bit of a different way with a positive power, so we can sort of think about what's going on. Right, negative 3 on x to the power of 4. Okay, so how are we going to show that this is always negative? Well, we can say since x to the power of 4 is always going to spit out values Okay, that are positive, bigger than zero, because if we put a negative in here, it's going to spit out a positive value. Okay, um, if we put in a positive value, it's of course still going to give us a positive value. Okay, well, so we know our denominator is always positive, and the numerator, sorry, is always uh, negative. So that means that when we divide at this negative by this positive all the time, we're always going to get a negative number. So since this is always positive, and f dash of x will always be negative. Right? So on the upside, uh, our rule still works whether it's a positive value uh, for our power or a negative value. Okay? So good news there. So hopefully you'll be able to get through this section without too much trouble. 